Everybody know what time the animal show starts? CPA. Hi, uh, I'm the junior assistant vice president in charge of finance for Ghostbusters. Uh, now you're all here today to learn about how being a Ghostbuster is a great way of making extra money. You see, during the course of the seminar, I'm supposed to show y'all how to do it. Uh, so let's get started. Now, ladies and gentlemen. And now you see everybody, this is a great opportunity because everybody knows that if you got a paranormal problem, there's only one place you can go. And you see, we're the ones, we're the only, well, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Oh, well, yeah, that was it, that was really good. Hey, listen, I gotta do that with the music, okay? Come on, everybody, help me out. Uh, well, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! One of the franchises is that when you do, you and you uh, and you too, you all get to be a Ghostbuster. See, I can show you how to do the show. Oh, those are new. <laughs> oh, oh uh, listen, that reminds me. Uh, now, the guys, they made a really good commercial that explains all this stuff to you. So if you all look up at your TVs, I can start the commercial for you. Okay, everybody, go ahead and look up at the TVs. Here it comes. Hey, America, here's your chance to be a Ghostbuster. Looking for a career that's exciting? Be a Ghostbuster. Who want a job with power and responsibility? Be a Ghostbuster. Who want to race into battle and save the world? Yes, now you can run the Ghostbuster branch office right in your own neighborhood. Catch gold? Make money? It's that easy! <laughs> yes, your Ghostbusting starter kit includes the actual equipment developed and tested by the Ghostbusters themselves during their world-famous adventures. Yes, friends, it's your ticket to Easy Street. These people were miserable with their whole fame go nowhere jobs. I was a school teacher. I was a short order cook. Yeah, I feel <laughs> <laughs> Now they're making real money. Right, everybody? So from now on, is there something weird in your neighborhood? Who are they going to call? You! So join in the fun and be a Ghostbusters! Yeah. Yeah. Your Ghostbusting starter kit call. You see what I mean, everybody? Now, doesn't that look great? Uh, so who's going to sign up first? Come on, everyone. This is where I got to get volunteers. I got to see some hands. Now, Dr. Venkman says get people what got courage and leadership and credit card. Uh, you want to help out? You want to help? Yeah, you. Come on up. Come on up here. There you go. Come on up. How about someone else? I need I need a junior Ghostbuster. I need a big, tall, strong guy. Big, tall, strong guy and a junior Ghostbuster. I need a junior Ghostbuster. Did you want to help? Yeah, well, you can come on up here. How about a big, tall, strong guy who wants to help? Mister, do you want to help? Yeah, well, come on up. Hey, everybody, give them all a real big round of applause for volunteering. Uh, you can come up here. You got steps up here. It might be a little less painful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that was good. Better man than I. You can go right over there. Here you go. Come on over here. All right, everyone. Now, see, i got to give these guys a test now just to see if they got what it takes so that they can be Ghostbusters, okay? Now, test number one is, oh, what is your name? Ingrid. Ingrid? Okay, everybody, say hi, Ingrid. Hi, Ingrid. Well, that was real good. Uh, Ingrid, you pass. Yeah. Uh, test number two, well, what's your name? Greg. Greg? Craig or Greg? Greg. Greg? Okay, everyone, say hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. Good job. Greg, you're in. And now test number three, what is the square root of 4,392 divided by 5? <laughs> I mean, that's a joke. That's a joke. 
Uh, what's your name? Nick. Nick? Okay. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Oh, that was great. Well, listen, y'all passed. You got your uniforms on. You're looking good. And so now it's time that we show everybody how simple it is to be a Ghostbuster. Y'all set? Okay, give me a high five. There you go. Come on over here, partner. You're first up, okay? Now, Nick's going to get into the ghost chair over here. Go ahead and climb up. Sit all the way back. Hands way up high. Try to touch the ceiling. There you go. Now, the first thing I got to do, I got to take this strap, and I got to buckle Nick in here good. Uh, you see, nothing bad's going to happen, but, well, he's in Florida now. So this is the law. <laughs> so put your hands like that. Good. Up a little. Perfect. Okay, now, you see, everybody, you got to watch Nick real closely, because this is important. Lesson number one to being a Ghostbuster is slime control. Now, you see, slime here is a real important part of a Ghostbuster's life. This pink stuff, this stuff's the most unpredictable of all the slimes that we got, so you got to make sure this stays in your hands at all times, okay? Now, we're going to give you some here. If they try to get away from you, don't let any of this stuff fall. You can't let it fall. You can't let it get on your clothes, okay? See, when it starts creeping like that, this is what you do. You take your hands, you take one hand, you put one hand on top of the other, okay? Then you pull your hand away, you go down and catch all that dirt and stuff. Okay, that's, that's okay. It's, yeah, that was good. And hey, look, Nick, you're gonna be there a while, okay? So you'll get it all worked out, okay? Just keep, keep trying. Okay, come on, great. Okay, everybody. Now, Greg here is going to help us all learn about lesson two to being a Ghostbuster. This is Ghostbuster customer screening procedures. Because uh, you see, say that somebody like Greg comes up to you and starts saying that he's possessed by ghosts. Well, it's up to you to check out his story, see? And this is what we use. This here is called our mental meter. See that? This goes on just like this. There you go. Okay, uh, now, you see this thing here that Dr. Spangler invented? Uh, now, what it does is it takes your brain waves, turns your brain waves into a TV signal. You see, that way everybody can see what it is that you're thinking about. Okay, now, Greg, you gotta look right over here where my hand is. Right here? Okay, and you gotta clear your mind for me. Yeah, I'm zooming in on Greg's brain waves here. Greg's gonna look right here, right where my hand is. See that? My hand? Okay, you gotta clear your mind of all thoughts for me. I'm zooming in, and you gotta clear your mind of all the. Hey, Greg, you gotta make your mind blank, okay? Otherwise, this isn't gonna. Oh, that was fast. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> good job. Uh, and now, if everybody just looks up at their TV, the psychic scanner here can show us all how Greg really sees himself, okay? Okay, concentrate now, okay? <laughs> Now, Ingrid's going to help us all learn about lesson three to being a Ghostbuster. This is our Ghostbuster equipment demonstration, everyone. Go ahead and stand right there, okay? How you doing with that? Yeah, any problems, Nick? No, it's no problem. Uh, are you having a good time? Yeah, see, it's no bother. He's having fun. That's good. Here's some more. <laughs> Now look at this. This is a real tree here. This is called a Neutrona Wand 2000. You see, this is just like the ones the guys use when they go out and catch the ghosts. Uh, now Ingrid here is going to show you how simple it is to use one. Now you go ahead and hold that, then that way I can teach you. Now see, that powers her up. That's a display. That's a containment stream right over there. That there's a coolant, then that's a safety lock, okay? Okay. Uh, I just got to turn it on now. Hang on, everyone. Okay, now this part's simple. The first thing you got to do when you're operating a Neutrona one is number one, you got to release the safety lock. Go ahead and push the safety lock. Go ahead and push it. Nick, yeah, you're doing a real good job. Uh, you're doing
doing such a good job, why don't you just stay there, okay? <laughs> and uh, well, we'll have someone come right over there in about 45 minutes, you think? Okay, good. Okay, well listen everybody, now it's time for the final part of the seminar. Now this is the real secret to being a Ghostbuster, because say you got a ghost, what are you going to do with it? You don't know, where are you going to put it? I'll tell you where you can put it. You can put it right in the next room, it's called the Ectoplasmic Containment Chamber. And before I take you guys all inside there, everybody put your hands together for our newest Junior Ghostbuster. right into the next room. I can show you where we keep all the ghosts at. So come on, everyone. Come on this way. Now, now this is where the guys keep all the ghosts at. They call it the ectoplasmic containment chamber. Uh, come on in, everybody. After you choose a road, just keep moving on down. Oh, uh, everybody, listen. We were having some problem this morning, so Dr. Stan says I'm supposed to tell you this next thing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't want to get slimed during this part of the presentation, don't sit in one of the blue seats. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, now I can show you how simple it is to flush it comes. Now this is called a ghost trap 530. This is just like the ones that the guys use when they go out and catch the ghosts. Uh, now the first thing you do is you take the trap up here. It stands a man at 2,000. That's this thing. You open up this door. You put the trap inside. Close, lock, and then you just pull on the handle. Uh, you see, that's how you get the ghost inside the containment chamber. Okay, now if your light's green, well, your trap is clean. That was a good flush. But if your light turned red, well, then you should have stayed in bed. See, something bad happened. Uh, uh, anyhow, you take the trap out, and it's all set to use again. That's all there is to it. There you go. That's how your cash flow kicks in. You see, because now if somebody comes up to you and says that their house is possessed by ghosts, well, you can go catch the ghosts all by yourself. You can toss the ghosts inside there. That way you can charge the customers the hefty annual storage fee, you see? And if the customer doesn't want to pay up, well, then you can just let the ghosts loose again. Uh, you see, that's what we call repossessing a house. <laughs> Okay, thanks to those that got it. <laughs> oh, and uh, listen, that reminds me, Dr. Spangler, he calls this a photoreactive psychic control zone. Now, all that means is that there's no eating or drinking, no smoking, and no more flash photography allowed, because those things upset the ghosts. Okay, and now I can show you the best part of the seminar. Ladies and gentlemen, these are our fabulous starter kits. Now, starter kit number one, this is the basic kit that you guys can buy, so it includes the basics. But starter kit number two, now see, that would just cost you a few dollars more, and you get all of these money-making extras. Uh, uh, but the best deal of them all is starter kit number three. That's because this one comes in fashionable pastels. <laughs> uh, now, all the starter kits include the Neutrona one here. This comes attached to one of the proton packs. You get the free ghost trap. You get the containment chamber, too. Now, that comes in a kit form, but it's real easy to put together. I bet that's not looking like the best seats no more, is it? <laughs> and listen, if you guys want to order anything from us today, we can even throw in a free pair of the ghost meter. <laughs>
This is just an example here of ghosts. This is called our emergency ghost system. Uh, it doesn't really get an actual ghost emergency Oh, system. knock it off! These are phony ghosts! Duh. <laughs> you didn't think I was going to really mess around with the real ghost, did you? Oh, for crying out loud, the real ghost. Did you? Honestly, people, how many of you believe in these so-called Ghostbusters? They all do. Come on,